guys welcome to another lecture and uh, today we'll be discussing something about the management and the mechanism of action of all the drugs in pphn and this is a part of a longer video that is available on my uh, application so please make sure you download it uh, more about it at the end of the lecture so as you understand that there is a endothelium okay and a smooth muscle cell so imagine that this is a smooth muscle cell of the lung okay very important and the final product which will lead to vasodilation the final product which will lead to vasodilation is calcium so our target in pphn or pulmonary artery hypertension or persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn in this our finally tar final target is to increase the synthesis of calcium so the calcium synthesis can be increased via two pre pre prominent pathway one is due to the stimulation one is due to the stimulation of cyclic gmp and second is due to the stimulation of cyclic amp so these are the two molecules that are very very important in synthesis of calcium to cause vasodilation now this cyclic gmp is synthesized from soluble guanylate silase or cyclase receptor which is in turn stimulated by endothelial nitric oxide so our first drug for pphn is endothelial nitric oxide or exogenously given nitric oxide so our first drug which is important is endothelial nitric oxide now next thing is that we have increased the synthesis of cyclic gmp but the cyclic gmp is degraded to uh, gmp via an enzyme pde5 pde5 and this pde5 is inhibited by the everyone's favorite drug sildenafil okay everyone's favorite viagra you like it right so this is the drug of choice inhibit the pde5 okay the next is that then you decrease the uh, sorry you increase the synthesis of cyclic amp so cyclic amp is stimulated by the prostaglandin receptor this is stimulated by prostaglandin receptor and there are two activation to this receptor so one is the pgi2 analog and the next is pge2 analog pge2 analog is called as alprosta alprostadil okay so this is the this is the third drug alprostadil and fourth drug is pgi2 itself okay the fourth drug is pgi2 itself which increases the synthesis of cyclic amp now again the degradation of cyclic amp occurs to amp via an enzyme known as pde3 this pde3 is inhibited it is inhibited by a drug known as milrinone which is an inodilator so this milrinone this milrinone again is another drug our fifth drug that is useful in pphn and the last and the sixth drug is the endothelial receptor antagonist which is known as bosentin and embrisentin so these are the drugs which are used for pulmonary artery hypertension or pphn and this is the mechanism of action how they work now pphn when it occurs in children obviously you have to give adequate o2 you have to make an adequate diagnosis with td t2d echo and after you have made the diagnosis of pphn then the pphn is grossly divided into four types okay this pphn is grossly divided into four types first is normal bp and normal lv function next example is the normal bp with abnormal lv function then the third example is abnormal bp with normal lv function and the last type is abnormal bp with abnormal lv function okay so the first example the drug of choice the drug of choice we will note down on the first line drug the drug of choice for first condition is nitrous of nitric oxide for the second is milrinone which is an ilo dilator the third example is iv fluid bolus and for the fourth is ecmo ecmo okay 
Now, if these first line drugs do not work, then after nitric oxide, the second line drug when you do not have nitric oxide is sildenafil. For milrinone, there is no other choice because it is the uh, inodilator. So, again, it will cause vasodilation with improved LV function. And here you have to remember that nitric, nitric oxide is contraindicated as it leads to pulmonary edema. Now, if these two do fail, then you have to give vasopressors. Vasopressors and the vasopressor that can be given is dopamine. Vasopressin. Dobutamine, adrenaline and noradrenaline. So all in all, this is the management. This is the, the specific management of PPHN. And um, the more detailed lecture I have taken on my app in my courses. If you have not downloaded my app already, please make sure you download it. And follow me on Instagram so that you can uh, have the daily MCQ updates. And also join our Telegram group for, uh, you know, the insights that I keep and the updates that I, uh, you know, keep on giving. And all the links are in description below. So please make sure you join us and I will see you in the next one.